Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I just did the test. Um, this guy, the Skywatcher 6 inch F8 Evo Star um, Apple Chromatic. So I was actually very nervous um, because I wasn't sure if it was going to perform to my expectations and uh, to uh, you know everything else that uh, you read. So um, I tried on the moon, you know, and I was uh, I have uh, Teleview, which is basically the best eyepieces you can have. Um, I tried with the uh, I got a 22 uh, mil uh, Panoptic. Uh, I also got Nagler's, and then I also got the Mead uh, 4000 series, which was ultra wide angle. Uh, Japanese made and some of those are the volcano type which if you guys know those were uh, older you know from the um, early 90s uh, type of thing where they were just as good at rated as the Telegi Naglers um, anyway so I did the moon on it it was pretty crystal clear you could see some color fringing it doesn't pop out um, you know so it's not perfect but there is a little bit but it's not too bad it actually surprised me i later went to the moon low medium high power and i did push the power so the highest power i went was a, a teleview nagler seven millimeter in the inch and a quarter format um, and then i had a two times barlow uh, mead 5000 series which is a uh, triplet uh, barlow uh, so that is 343 power so if we just go by uh, 150 mil, uh, if you go by the formula of 50 times per inch or double in millimeters, it still comes out to 300 power. So I pushed this guy beyond its limits at 343 and Saturn looked pretty good. Um, so I was actually uh, pretty relieved. Uh, so I can say that after using it, testing it, the color fringing is, uh, is minimal. Um, you got to look for it now maybe for astrophotography it would show up more uh, but uh, pretty good for um, you know visually uh, or if you're going to be doing visual is fine I think for the most part um, so I would probably recommend it so like like I said in my previous um, video this guy is about 30 uh, 200 before tax 3500 with tax um, the focuser was pretty good even though it's a uh, you know, uh, a Chinese made uh, focuser uh, still was pretty good. My eyepieces did not slip, uh, even using a two inch eyepiece did not slip. There was no slop, it was pretty good. Um, so I would say overall, pretty impressed. I guess the only thing I am disappointed in is, you know, still Skywatcher not saying what it is. It would just be nice to know uh, what, what it is. What did I pay for? Um, however, if it is a 51 glass, that means they did a very good job, I would say. A very good job on the mating element because it's the, the, the color correction is very good. Uh, it is not perfect like a true apple, but I think for most people, if you want a 6 inch, low cost, that's an ED, an apple chromatic, I think you I think you'll like it. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll have fun with it. It's a great price point, so we'll just end it there. Uh, if you'd like to uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, I'll have a ton of new stuff coming out. So I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty impressed with this new Skywatcher ED um, for a six inch. I have I've had many six inch refractors, um, and and. You know, so I think it's pretty good. So I give it a two thumbs up. The only thing would be better if they would tell us what kind of glass it would. It would be pretty good. Uh, but besides that, it did fairly well, I would say. Okay, cheers.